Hello, my name is David Boag. Thanks for taking a look at my tutorial. So what do you actually get when you click on subscribe? Well, in a couple of days, a DVD will arrive through the post with both a Mac and a Windows version of the tutorial on it. Click on your choice, obviously, and uh, it will act, operate fine from the DVD, but obviously it'll work twice as fast if you drag it onto your, or copy it onto your own hard drive. Uh, the tutorial will then leap into action. I've just clicked on it now, and you will be presented with the menu screen that you see in front of you. Now, initially, of course, you, you may want to uh, experiment and have a look at some of the various menus. And here on the screen in front of us with the main menu, you can see as you roll over the various headings, how they light up or, or change color, how the cursor changes, and you can click on the one of your choice. Let's click on the top one for now. You'll notice in this situation that the menu is not all light. For example, only lenses is live, you might say. That is because this is only part two. Camera bodies may come alive in part three or part four. Flashes in part five, supports in parts, I don't know. You know, there's so much to happen, believe you me. As we click on lenses, then we can again enter a whole new range. Here, for example, we've just got length of uh, the effect of uh, focal length and it's active. OK, you can click on the different lenses and you can read all about it. Now, the thing is to remember that this is such an interactive program. There's so many different things you could do and try out, believe you me. Always look down in this bottom right hand corner for that word next. Keep clicking on next because it takes you from one exciting thing to another. Read the different things. For example, click on this window, uh, this uh, picture rather. I just go back there. Obviously, previous takes us back pretty logical yeah so I clicked on that picture the picture came up big more information then we could carry on studying about wide angle lenses and seeing the effect and then of course later on it will grow even more uh, and develop even more to the creative much more creative uses rather than just about equipment Okay, we can make our way back. You'll notice way up in the top right hand corner, um, I'm highlighting lenses. So we could just go back to lenses, as I've just done. We could go back even further to equipment or back right the way to the beginning to the main menu. In the technical area, there's so much action, believe you me. Probably not a lot is highlighted at the moment. Um, exposure, how and why and that kind of thing. But later on, we'll be looking at the more creative aspects of, of aperture, for example. Depth of field, very interactive. You can try so much out. Shutter speed, why? I mean, at the moment, how it, it, you know is working. A fast shutter speed, you can try it. Look. That's a very fast shutter speed, a slow shutter speed. Basics, taking you back to basics and then building on those basics for creativity. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's find something even more exciting. What about, this is the bit I love, creativity. Looking at all sorts of aspects of creativity. In this early, early stage, composition is strongly featured. And we'll look at other things, as you saw just a moment ago. But maybe, for example, uh, you might be interested in, in talking about breathing space. What does he mean by breathing space? Well, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you. You can try it out for yourself. But there's so much we can talk about as we click on next and we try different things out and we put things into action. Um, if we now go back to the main menu again, obviously you can keep going next and next and you can go previous and, oh, there's so much to happen. Uh, if we go to the main menu, uh, then I'm now chosen animals. Now, at this stage, uh, <laughs> you know, there's only so, so much you can get in these first two parts. This is why it actually builds up in 13 parts. Mammals, for example, you can see all of the different headings, but very little is active at the moment. Virtually nothing in that first two sections. But if we go back to animal life, birds, there's much more action there. Uh, for example, attracting birds, um, I've just I've clicked on attracting birds, and here I'm looking at picking the moment. It's a little animation you might like to experiment with to try out. Look, start the animation, a bird hopping across the lawn, and the idea is, is that you catch it. Oh, well, I don't know. That ain't too bad, but you can see my results. We can talk about it, and uh, you can read what I've got to say about these different things. Birds, for example, capturing action. Later on, we'll be looking at birds in flight and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but here, I'm just talking about timing for a little while, and uh, we can enjoy that. 
Um, I'm talking so fast because there's so much I want to tell you. Look, habitats and plants. Yeah, are you with me here? Look, um, habitats and plants. I explain why I've incorporated them and put them together. Incidentally, here's another thing. Look, you'll notice in the text that odd words are highlighted here and there. Camera, lenses, composition. If you click on any of those words, well, camera, if you roll over camera, if you remember in the equipment, camera isn't alive yet. We'll call it alive. Yeah? Composition is. So we can click on composition and it whisks us straight from the animal section into the creativity section to talk about composition. We can start looking at composition and then we can say, oh, we're fed up with that. And we'll now go back to where we were. That follow link back will always take us back to where we were. Here I'm just doing a section in uh, landscapes about taking vertical landscapes. Incidentally, if we just go back now to the habitats and plants, this area is seriously busy. Um, and, and that is about photographing plants, single flowers or just little groups. And there's so much we could talk about, all those different things, selecting the subject, using contrast, gardening, white flowers, you get a background angle of view. I'll click on angle of view, yeah? And, we, look, and you can click on the picture and look at these flowers taken from different angles, some lying down, some standing up. And you can see the effect. I'm just going to whisk through these ones for a minute because there's something I want to show you. Yeah, you can Any little picture is always worth clicking on. More information coming up as well. Um, but when I said it was interactive, this is a good illustration. Uh, for example, that was how the, well, you'll have to read about it, but watch this. Huh? And so it is that we end up, well, make up your own mind, which picture you like best. And you can read about it and, and uh, decide what you think about it. Well, I've taught really fast to try to pack a lot of it in. That is just some of what you will get when you click on the subscribe button in that first section. Can you imagine how big it is once you got to the final section, uh, part 13, when, of course, it will arrive as a nice, neat box uh, thing and all the rest of it. So thank you ever so much for popping in. And uh, I really do hope uh, that you enjoy the Natural Focus Interactive Photography Tutorial. Thank you very much.